I think the goal will be to build on the momentum we've created in financial year 19 and especially in the second half of financial year 19. Um, we do believe we have a very robust uh, launch portfolio in place for the current financial year and I think all of the business development activity that we witnessed over the last few months should start converting into new sales launches in the current financial year and we're also actually at a reasonably advanced stage of some exciting new projects that we hope to bring into the portfolio and then subsequently launch. So, so certainly we, we hope to see another very strong year from a sales performance perspective. For your business developments, how many new projects were added in this quarter? We had during the quarter added about eight new projects, uh, six of which in a combined portfolio deal that we did in Pune, which was about 25 million square feet, and another million and a half square feet in Mumbai, uh, including a very high value project uh, in uh, excellent location in, in Bandra that we're quite excited about that we hope to again launch later this financial year. What were some of the key launches of, of the projects that we have seen in this uh, quarter along with the completion? We had a good mix of, uh, of new project launches during the quarter. So one was a project called Godred Central Park in the Pune market where we sold well over 600 apartments there. Um, we had a project called Godridge Aqua in Bangalore, which again did very well. We had two projects in NCR, one each in Gurgaon and Noida, um, that again uh, sold very well. And in addition to the new project launches, we also had a lot of good sales from our existing inventory, including in Mumbai and elsewhere. So I think that combined to make it kind of the best ever quarter we've had from a sales perspective. We also had um, four projects uh, reach revenue recognition, and we, we completed and delivered those projects, including one of our most important projects, which is the first phase of our project here in Vikroli called The Trees. A lot is going on for the real estate sector with the GST announcement, RERA being in place. So uh, with all these changes happening, is there uh, you know, chances of any announcement of new affordable housing projects from your end? Well, you know, a lot of our existing projects are uh, are classified as affordable housing in terms of some of the benefits they're able to get. So this project I mentioned in Pune, Godred Central Park, is such a project. We are now focusing on what we think are more sort of mid-income projects, some of which do qualify for some of the government's benefits around affordable housing. But we're not, for, for the moment, planning any kind of separate business line or vertical focused on, uh, you know, true bottom of the pyramid housing. I think a lot of developers today are calling mid-income housing affordable housing. I would still say most of the uh, most of the housing where we're working on is really mid-income housing. So uh, you have a lot of projects in the pipeline. How are you planning to, what is the mode of capital raising? Do you want it to do it through internal or uh, external accruals? No, I think it will we'll keep continuing to keep an eye on that. I think clearly internal accruals should fund most of the growth that we're aspiring to. We did raise some equity in financial year 19, so certainly that has helped provide the capital we need uh, for business development. At the same time, I think given the scale of opportunity we may also look at raising other means of capital uh, if suitable, if we can uh, be sure that, that we are continuing to see the kind of opportunities that we currently are witnessing on the business development side. My final question, there were media reports that your company is in talk with India Bulls to buy a part of their real estate business. Uh, any progress on this? You know, we don't like to comment on any specific uh, market speculation. Certainly, we're looking at acquiring a lot of projects uh, from various developers and, uh, and other companies. Uh, but at the moment, we're not in any uh, serious considerations for an acquisition at the entity level.